welcome back to the channel and yeah I've gone back to the 1960s obviously I'm not on my Ducati Hyper Motor 950 SP I'm on a Triumph Scramble 1200 and I'm gonna close my visor because it's a bit windy yeah this bike's been out for well since 2019 but I've never got around to riding one so email Triumph said I'd quite like to ride one of those uh, especially considering it's a product placement in a new James Bond film. No, uh, I just, I don't know, there's something about a kind of retro bike with long travel suspension and quality long travel suspension that I've always wanted to try. So, um, so yeah, there we go. Uh, Triumph did invite me to the unveiling of this bike. I think it was at the XL Center, probably two years ago, where I could take part in a kind of um, off-road race in an arena as part of a UK team of journalists and given that the sum total of my off-road experiencing is uh, turning around in a car park I, I politely declined uh, kind of glad I did because it was in front of loads of people and I would have made a right ass of myself so no, this is my first time riding the bike I'm not going to do a full review right now I'll do that in a week or two once I actually put some miles on it I still have a slight moment where I forgot how Triumph fuel gauges work sometimes it was delivered to me from a van and I got on it and the fuel light was on that said zero miles range so I dutifully uh, crept to the nearest petrol station and I only got two quid in it so it was actually full it just takes a while for the fuel readout to fill up I felt like a bit of a knob but hey so anyway it's rainy it's autumny it's muddy but you know I always think that these are fun bikes because they're shit weather bikes they're bikes that you can ride in the rain and the mud and in whatever and I'm about to go and do something that's probably gonna see me drop this and I'm probably gonna fall off and it's probably a bit ill-advised but hey it's fun and you guys might like a laugh at my expense so I found a kind of a, a muddy footpath probably he's just been down it um, it's a byway open to all traffic like a green lane type thing uh, hopefully it's not too terrifying I've done some off-roading uh, I did a one-day course at the Dave Thorpe off-road centre with Honda on the New Africa Twin back in February, March this year and I really enjoyed it and I only fell off once which I, I'm told is quite good for a first effort and it was proper wet, muddy and miserable and an Africa Twin is much bigger than this so hopefully this hello this will be a friendly-ish companion obviously it's still a 210 kilo bike um, so we'll see what happens but yeah I'll stop waffling and I'll see you at the start of my imminent demise <laughs> spinning it up on the manhole covers um, it's been lashing it down all week it's been absolutely miserable I've not ridden my head motard for two weeks I've been on holiday for a week uh, which is why at, at least one week has gone by without a video apologies but you know I've got life sort of uh, I went to the Black Forest in Germany a week before everything got locked down again so it's nice to get away basically I'm going to go up to the top of this hill and then there's the global mega headquarters of Pfizer uh, it's like an e it's laid out like an evil Bond villain's lair when you look at it on Google Maps and apparently there's a, a byway that starts there and goes back down towards a pub so um, I'm never really sure if you're meant to do these things uphill first or downhill first as you're scouting it out but I'm going to go downhill first because then it, even if I break my leg I can roll to the bottom of the hill <laughs> there it is my noble steed you can see it's got vaguely uh, off-roady tyres it's got an aluminium mudguard thing it's got all the covers and the bars that's the only reason I'm doing this because it looks like it can handle a slightly muddy lane with me on it and I'm not very good at life um, but it should be fine looks lovely in this blue doesn't it it's the XE model so it's got the proper suspension travel it's jacked up and it should look after me um, I'm going to get my phone out and take a photo just because uh, this might be the last time this bike's in one piece right so you, I've got the OS Maps app on my phone and I subscribe to it it's really good if you like walking in the country and this dash with a line across it is a byway open to all traffic so it just goes down here gets a little bit steep there might fall off and die and then I'm onto the road so it's only a couple hundred metres <laughs> uh, but yeah let's see let's see what happens I've got it on off-road mode uh, I haven't gone for off-road pro because I'm not an off-road pro 
I'm just an off-road. I do love that it's got a proper adjustable master cylinder and it's also got a uh, foot plate expander thing, a camel toe, if you will. <laughs> right, let's see how we go. How is it for standing up? Uh, okay, I'm just going to sit down for a bit, I think. Whee! Right, obviously this is not very testing, but I've not done off-road stuff for ages, so bear with me. I might need that to come and pull me out in a minute. Now, I don't want to annoy anyone, so I'm not going to be firing up rooster tails. Also, I'm a bit shit, so I'm not going to be doing that either. Um, yeah, Sunday bimble. Alright, what do I remember from... Okay, steer with your feet, relax your grip on the bars as much as possible, and let's see how we go. If it gets too scary, I'm definitely going to turn around, uh, because it's not my bike. Have some respect. Oh, there's a big... There's a thing here, there's a... I wonder if that means don't go through there. Uh, no cars, no... Well, I thought this was open to all traffic. What happened to that? No, I've just done my highway code. I am all right to go down here because it's no horse-drawn carriages and no motor vehicles except solo motorcycles. So there we go. I'm all good. Sorry, being captain cautious here, but I don't want to break the law, man. I'm definitely going to fall off this. It's quite tall, actually. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> <laughs> right, calm your tits, Rudy. Oh, that was far deeper than I thought. <laughs> right, <laughs> that's quite narrow, isn't it? Right, take it easy. This already feels like a really bad idea. I'm just going to pootle along. Yeah, I'm sitting down, because if I stand up, I'll hit my head. <laughs> There's tarmac here. I might just stop for a photo before I absolutely trash it. This is quite cool. The tank on this bike's really pretty, and they've sculpted it out to take the forks. That is nice. All right, onwards. Apologies for heavier than usual breathing. I've got a cold. Not coronavirus. I'm an off-road pro! This is definitely, this is quite steep. I'm keeping a foot out. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, this is a, uh, this is steep. This is a bad idea, isn't it? All right, I'm just going to trickle it down here on the back brake. I'm being a bit of a pussy, I realise this. Oh no, there's a junction. I presume it's up here. Whee! Boggy! <laughs> wow, when this slides, it goes it really gracefully. Oh, look at this. This is quite fun. I mean, I'm saying that before I end up in a hospital in five minutes, but with a 220 kilo bike on me, but... <laughs> Just sideways for a whole bit. I think if I put it in off-road pro, it will allow a lot more slip, but um, I'm all right. I'm all right. Put it that way. I'm very much of the skill level of a average Joe that's bought one of these to use on the road. And this looks like quite a nice easy track to bring it down, to be honest. So if you have bought a Scrambler 1200XE, you could do this, because I'm probably even worse at riding than you. You know, and as long as you're okay with feeling the ABS going on the back brakes the whole time. <laughs> and you know, I'm not going through a million miles an hour, but it's a public right of way, so I don't want to kill any walkers. Oh my god, is that is that the way it goes? <laughs> right, hang on. 
check the map. Oops, this isn't the right way. I need to go straight down that leafy lane. All right, turn it around. Back we go. The adventure continues. I love turning bikes around in quite steep, muddy fields. Well, I'm definitely on the wrong bit of the track. All right, let's go on the grass because that won't be so muddy. Actually, I'll turn it around where there's not so much shit on the floor. control did not like that slide it backwards a bit <laughs> come on oh, traction control is killing me right I'm gonna put it in off-road pro because I've got too much traction control can't actually move is that gone Oh, hang on. I never actually put it in off-road mode. Because I never selected it. What a dick. I've been doing the whole thing in street mode. <laughs> right, still not enough. Right, there we go. Got it out. Oh, right, this is not going well. Oh, I'm knackered. Right, me thinks I'm gonna get off and push. See how that goes. Come on. Oh, there it goes. That's better. Come on, you beauty. <laughs> Sorry Triumph, it's dirty. Yeah, that grass is really slippery. Up we go. Right, as long as we keep that momentum, we'll be golden. Oh, I am so knackered from pushing that up, up the very slight hill. My back tyre is now full of sight. Oh, this is so nice. <laughs> Woo oh man, I've got to have what it is to get a bike sideways off road. Even only a teeny tiny bit that you probably can't see on camera. Look after me, Mr. Scrambler. My plan is to get to the bottom. <laughs> that was deeper than I thought. Just to get to the bottom and come back up. But I'll see how much of my body's oxygen is left by then because I don't so I do a load of heavy breathing for you so I think I go up here keep it moving and I think it's down there oh god <laughs> that's a horrible bend right I'm gonna go back up there turn around and straight line it I think Come on, keep going, keep going. Woo <laughs> this is the deep bit. Right, I turn around here. I should give up, shouldn't I? I should give up while we're still ahead. But go on. Right, I hope that runner's not coming up here. Just grab, grab a breath. This is good fun. It's just the really steep bit uphill you can feel it starting to lose momentum. So you just got to have the confidence to keep the engine revs up and hope it doesn't just suddenly grip. Um, but I think it's fine. I've only had one massive moment where it just looked like normal mud, but it was actually quite a lot deeper. And it kind of caught and went sideways, but caught it with my foot. But if you haven't guessed, I'm not Mark Marquez in terms of fitness, looks, success, or bike control. All right, let's just go down here. 
So the reason I didn't take the left is because it looked really off camber and sketchy uh, from the direction I went. So I'm just gonna go straight. That's why I came up here. All right, slow it down, slow it down. All right, here we go. No one's been down here. It's always really reassuring and there's leaves hiding all sorts of shit. I just don't let it get away from me. I might just put it back in a non-pro off-road because I don't know if off-road pro uh, takes away front ABS. I kind of want front ABS. Check the manual. Hmm. Probably should have done. Well, I realise how lame this looks. This is not going to look at all steep or slippery on the GoPro. But it is. <laughs> okay, I think we're down the worst of it. Or the worst of the incline. Whoa, there's so many rocks hidden in all these leaves, it's quite hard to see them. <laughs> um, okay. Big rut or up above the rut? Ruts are bad, I know that. But sliding into one from above seems worse right now. Alright, get that back brake on. Over this bump. And yes, I realise I could be doing all this with the engine off and I'd be going just as fast. Oh Ooh, yeah, got a stick in my neck. Hang on. Yeah, this is, a, <laughs> this is officially a bad idea now. Because uh, the clay around here is super slippery. This is the point of the video where I decide I'm not going to go back up. I can hear Al Fagan shouting, don't be a fanny, am I? This is only like 200 metres of track. <laughs> oh yeah. Taking twigs to the helm. It's probably a bunch of people on 250 motocross bikes behind me wondering what the fuck I'm doing. Both feet back on the pegs and clutch out for the first time in forever. <laughs> This is a good workout. I mean, I, I need to go to the gym, but it's a bit covid -y, isn't it? This is a much safer way, ho-ho. Ending up in the middle of nowhere with a 220 kilo bike on your leg. Yeah, I'm not gonna go back up there. Sorry, call me lame in the comments, but uh, even this is like, it's snaking all over the place. It's probably one of those things where the faster you go, the easier it is, and I'm just being a bit of a pussy. Right, nearly back at the bottom. <laughs> Ooh, 12 miles an hour, new record. For <laughs> fat man off-roading. Right, footpath joins there, so I need to just be careful not to take out any dog walkers. <laughs> Absolutely, this bike is looking after me with the electronics and everything else. Granted, I'd turn them off to get it out of that grassy field, but you know, that's physics and wet grass for you, that's not the bike's fault. Now I've still got some level of electronics looking after me, which is just reassuring. This would be one of those things, at the moment, I had moments where I'm like, this is a really bad idea, but, but now I'm like, oh, I'm glad I did that. Just nice to remember what motorbikes are capable of, and the answer is always, whether it's on road or track or off-road, motorbikes are always more capable than the rider. Unless you might mark it. Fat English bloke in Gore-Tex, yeah, bike is better. Well done, Triumph. Oh, look at that. Right. I <laughs> Get complacent, Rody. <laughs> oh, man. <sighs> photo time. Oh, no. No, can't stop for a photo. Can't get side stand down. <laughs> uh, I should probably check my route just to make sure I'm on the legal byway. Hooray, I'm on the right path. So I'll do about another 250 meters of this and it dumps me out on a track and I'm going to do a road ride to clear my tyres <laughs> um, hopefully not a big, have a big crash on them <laughs> alright okay back wheel has gone in that rut <laughs> front wheel has gone in a different rut classic problems just crab along for a bit alright <laughs> glad I'm tall because uh, right foot can't touch the ground right now Right, there we go. Wheels in a line. 
this is actually the slipperiest one yet. <laughs> Sorry, Bush. There we go, trying to be relaxed, but it's really hard. <laughs> Glad I've got a peak helmet on. Batter away all the eye gouging lacerations of Mother Nature. Sorry for all the heavy breathing in this video, but it's a, it's a reasonable amount of effort. This person is going to be like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you! He is like, what the hell are you doing? I'll wait for this family to come up here. There's a dog. I'll just kill this for a second. Now there's a weirdo in Gore-Tex and textiles on a motorbike. It's clearly not meant to come up here. Good, good doggy. Good doggy. <laughs> Alright, the doggy is gone. Let's continue. I think I'm very near the end now. Hope I'm really near the end, but it's nice to actually sit and catch my breath for a second and just think about what I'm doing. Don't fight the bike, just let it go where it wants to. Sort of, up to a point. This is again steep than it looks and there's a big rut in the middle. <laughs> if you can't tell, yes, I've gone into damage limitation mode. Just because I've come this far and I haven't done the D word, the one that ends, starts with D and ends in ROP, or C and ends in RASH. It does make me want a little kind of 125 off roadie bike or 250 or something because this is fun it's a challenge it's a different kind of challenge to riding on the road it's about reading the ground and relaxing and getting used to the bike sliding around which is you know not something you ever want really on the road sliding a bike around uh, this is super goopy <laughs> right i think that's civilization <laughs> well done scrambler you have properly looked after me there looking good work that would be funny wouldn't it if I just dropped the bike parking it for a fucking photo <laughs> yeah I did it <laughs> I didn't die right don't, I'm not going to review that in an off-road review way because I know nothing about off-roading and I don't want to patronise you. <sighs> Wait, now I get to flick all the mud off. Feel the brakes. Well, thank you so much for watching whatever that was. Probably 15 minutes of me doing AMPR. BDSM, no, the other one, ASMR, down your neck. Just heavy breathing for 20 minutes. Uh, but that was quite fun, and hopefully that was vaguely entertaining to watch. I won't be doing that again in a hurry. <laughs> uh, please like, comment, subscribe. Woo. <laughs> and I will see you very soon, uh, when I will be significantly less muddy. Ciao, ciao.